Hello, I'm Marilyn Shannon, host of Conversations from the Psychic Roundtable. We're chatting with metaphysical artists around the province, maybe even around the country before we're done. And today we're off to Coburg to chat with someone who combines so much and is totally awesome. I'd like to welcome Donna Browning Perkins. Hello, Donna. Hello, Marilyn. How are you today? I'm all right. Thank you. It's so good of you to join us. Uh, we were thrilled to have you at our camp retreat last summer and people were wowed because you took their hand in your hand and you read their palm, but you also took them on a journey to their ancestors. Tell me how you do that. It was my pleasure um, meeting with you and your guest at the camp and as always meeting you in person when I get the chance. Um, I am a palm reader and I have always been very psychic and very intuitive my whole life. So over the last two years as I've been practicing palm reading at different events and things, I found that my intuitive mediumship skills were really becoming stronger. So it's naturally uh, a reading palm reading morphs into a message from spirit, which is quite, uh, quite the gift. It's quite the gift for the, for the recipients to, uh, to receive. It is quite a gift. And, and tell me a little bit, I don't know many hand readers, you know, I mean, I'm not a hand re a palm reader at all. So tell me a little bit about, there's a scientific basis for this. Absolutely. It, uh, palm reading actually as a science started about 5,000 years ago with, uh, in India and even Alexander the Great was known to use it to confer with his palm reader before going into battle. So there's a science to it. It's called chiromancy and it's the, it's the science and uh, technical part of it is the lines, uh, the length of the lines, the depth of the lines can all influence and, and reveal what energies are in certain aspects of your life as you go along. And they do change over time as well. So it's a science and along with an intuitive gift like I have, it's also an art. And, that, and that's the trick, isn't it? To combine your gift and your knowledge and be able to deliver that message to someone. So, so what happens for you when you take your client's hand? Well, generally what happens is um, when you start a connection with someone, I usually try to meditate for a few minutes before, especially in an event situation where there's one reading after the other. I'm very fortunate to be able to, to calm myself down and meditate and be ready for the next connection. So a connection starts with the client that's sitting in front of me. And I always ask them, I tell them I'm going to be holding your hand, physically holding your hands and touching. And I also mention to them, are you okay if you get a message from spirit? Because that's usually what happens now. So it's a combination of the client is relaxed and welcomed and knowing that they're safe. And it's the safe space to maybe get in touch with people who have crossed over and who may have messages or memories for them and information that they want to impart to the people that are sitting with me. Fascinating. It's just, I'm always amazed how spirit finds a way to get their message to their loved ones. Yes, absolutely. And for me, I kind of had to throw my logic out the window and just trust that spirit was doing that with me and letting it work through me. And it just gives me the greatest pleasure to be able to bring hope and reassurance to people that their loved ones are not that far away. And also on the palm reading side, it kind of gives them a little bit of a confidence boost too, to know that, well, maybe a couple years ago they had a downtime, downturn, but now it's coming, they're coming out of that now. So it's encouraging for the people themselves to continue on their daily path. And it's also reassurance knowing that, hey, my dad, my sister, my brother, my, my mother, my father, they are all still in my life. I can communicate with them just by conversation too. So it's very reassuring. So. Well, many people think that when a soul dies, they're gone and the love ends. I don't find that to be true. Do you? I totally am of the school of thought or train of thought that love never dies. The connection never dies. Most importantly, the connection, the soul connection. And also, too, I'm very uh, amazed at the power that we, we have of ourselves to know that we are part of something bigger. 
and something greater and it never it never ends so it, it's hopeful it's very very hopeful to know that you can still remember people that have crossed over and also feel it know it and know it in your heart that they are still around uh, around <laughs> yeah it does give us a, a lot of peace doesn't it absolutely it does. yes now the other interesting part i found when i do readings is it gives me peace to give that reading and whatever message comes through do you find that yes and it's very very um, because of the type of work that we do, you and I and other and other light workers, it's very hard for us to be, to not to make sure that we don't let our egos get in the way, and we're we're very humble and honest and authentic uh, workers. So we have we're always second guessing ourselves, like oh I, I don't want I don't want anybody to say oh you're so great and you know all this is coming. It's it's all about being humble and trusting. And knowing to just let the word let the word flow come into your mind, let it flow through you, and it does what you know. What my grade eight uh, home economics teacher, Mrs. Waite, said it best: happiness is a perfume you cannot spread on others without getting a few drops on yourself. So that's kind of the feeling. <laughs> that's lovely advice. You know, it was my home economics teacher who gave me the best advice planning my career. So. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Interesting how that uh, link happens there. <laughs> how do you do readings these days when you can't get a hold of my palm? <laughs> I, I struggled with that at the beginning of this uh, interesting times we're going through and I, I thought as a hand holding palm reader, I'm not allowed to touch people's hands or even hug people. So I went a couple of weeks and then I, I really meditated for about a week. I just kind of went in the woods in my mind and uh, I thought maybe I'll take advantage of some of the technology and I put a message out on Facebook saying, if you do want to connect with me, I can do, I'm not really doing palm readings as such. You can hold your palm up to the camera, but it's, I would have to take a screenshot. It's a little bit tricky. So I'm, I'm counting more and I'm allowing more of my flow of intuition to work through Oracle cards right now. So I'm offering things on Zoom, half hour readings for, uh, for Zoom. And, and it's, it's, I had one the other day and it was absolutely blew me away. I even actually saw a spirit behind the lady who I was speaking with over her left shoulder. And that freaked me out and it made me so happy at the same time. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing these days. <laughs> it's amazing how the energy finds a way. And of course, spirit's not limited by wires and things. They can do whatever they like. <laughs> So yes, do you the, ultimate, the ultimate Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes. Right. Do you have a message for people in these times, Donna? Yes, I do, actually. I was thinking about this. Um, I try to say this every day in my prayers and meditations, too, for I would love to be able to remember that commercial. I'd, I'd like to give the world by the world a Coke from years ago. I'd, I'd like to touch everybody's heart and just let everybody stop for a moment and take a breath and realize that the earth is taking a breath as well. And we're all in this together. We're all part of the same energy throughout the universe. So trust and have hope and don't fear and know that we're all part of something way bigger than we can imagine and just trust and learn to trust your own power, breathe through it and just be a light. And if you can't be a light, find a light and then share the light. Yeah, sounds wonderful. Sounds wonderful. Donna, how can people get a hold of you? Well, I do have a website. Uh, my website is Leopard Tree Gifts with an S, leopard like the animal, leopardtreegifts.com. I'm also on Facebook. You can look up Jaguar Woman, J-A-G-U-A-R, because it's the black leopard that is the jaguar in South America. That's my totem animal. And I'm available on Facebook as Jaguar Woman or Donna Browning Perkins. You can look up that as well on Facebook and my website, like I said. And um, that's probably the best way because I do put, put most of my information on my website as well. So sounds wonderful. On your website, I think there are things, other things that you do. I do. True? I do. I do offer Reiki as well. I'm a Reiki master and I'm a crystal Reiki master. I, uh, I do work with runes, Viking runes as well. I, I found a piece of driftwood on the beach the other day and I carved some rune symbols into it and I put it over my, my door, my main door of our, our apartment here and it uh, just for protection. Uh, runes, astrology, uh, crystals. I love my crystals. Very, very um, 
happy about my crystals <laughs> and the energy. I can usually, keep, they're very not too, not too far away usually. So crystals, uh, runes, crystal Reiki, Reiki, and of course, palm reading and messages from spirit. And I met you at um, the Mystic Market here, first one, uh, yeah. uh, over a year ago. And I know you work at, at events, so people can find you when the events start again, right? Yes, yes. And I do have my calendar on my website. Uh, and I've, you see all the ones that were planned, all the ones that have been postponed. So I'm keeping that up to date week by week. But I'm usually at all of the psychic fairs and in Belleville area, Trenton area, um, Campbellford, Tweed, Ottawa. I've even the readings in Ottawa as well. So and Kingston as well. So I'm all over the place. I'm, I'm, I, I knew I was a gypsy in another life. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and, and uh, that's one thing I'm missing, getting out and being with my people. It's, it's fun on, on Zoom, but <clears throat> seeing people, reading for them and connecting with like-minded people, I think is what keeps us all a little healthy and uh, oh, yes. positive these days. Yes, for sure. Donna, thank you for joining me today. It's great talking to you. I You're really most welcome. I enjoy your gift. Thank you, Marilyn. I appreciate this and I wish you all the best. And uh, I know we're all going to get through this together once we've admitted that the light is all that we need and we need to stay in the flow. So much, much love to you. Thank you. Thank you.